Have you ever wanted to change how you look for whatever reason in a photo? Maybe you weren't smiling and you want to, or you want to look a little younger, maybe older. All right, so let's take a look at this new AI-powered app called Hey Photo. Uh, but first, let me tell you what this is. So my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So this is a daily live stream podcast free daily newsletter, and also tutorials, our AI in five, where we help everyday people like you and me actually use AI. So let's let's go use some AI. Uh, so let's take a look at Hey Photo. So this is a new, uh, a new AI powered app that, you know, as you can see here, it's, uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. You can uh, animate a still photo. Uh, you can somehow keep it, uh, keep your identity private, uh, keep it from uh, facial recognition systems. Uh, change your smile, change your look, change your gender, uh, tweak emotions, all these different things. So uh, let's just go in and see how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, it looks like there's a place to drop an image right there. Uh, so I'm just opening uh, on my computer here. I'm scrolling through my files. I have a headshot right there. Um, all right. So right away I'm seeing, which is fine. Uh, it's, it's saying that I need to uh, log in. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep this going. We all, we always do this live. Um, so just, just a second here. I am registering because I like to give you guys the full experience, right? Uh, so if, if it's a bad registration process, whatever it may be, I want you guys to know about it. And we see if we can actually use a piece of AI in five, including sign up, right? All right. So I just signed up in another window as I was talking. Um, and you'll see I'm signed in there. So very easy sign up process. Uh, just signed in with my uh, with my Google account. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and drag a headshot in here, and we can kind of see how it works. All right, so it's doing some things with gaze directions. I'm reading it down here pretty fast. Uh, it looks pretty intuitive so far. So it looks like one of their main features, I'm not sure why, is this look at the bird. Uh, so a little creepy there, uh, but... It is uh, moving my eyes. I'm not sure uh, why you might want to do this. Maybe if you have a photo where you're looking off to the side and you want to be looking straight on, I guess that's uh, one way that you could use that. Uh, anonymize here. Uh, I guess this kind of just changes your actual uh, face. So I'm actually going to reset all. Uh, I'm going to click anonymize and we'll see. It just uh, slightly changes kind of who you are. Uh, we'll see. It's loading here. So very interesting use case. So kind of what they promote this for is um, to get around, you know, facial recognition systems, uh, whatever it may be. Um, so it's taking taking a little long here. Interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Uh, again, this is a newer platform, so uh, not not too surprised uh, to see some little bugs there. So all right. So the anonymize, at least right now, isn't working. All right, so here's a slider where you can do more smile or less smile. So uh, I'm already smiling here, so let's just go ahead and make it less and see how that works. All right, didn't really work there. Trying more smile. Just kind of made my teeth bigger <laughs> is, is what that did. Okay, there we go, it's working now. So now it's making me sad. Uh, it definitely changed... Uh, <laughs> It changed my uh, appearance almost completely, but uh, that's fine. So, but it does does kind of work there. It does distort the face. Um, so let's try the emotions tab. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see what I might look like uh, surprised. All right, interesting. Uh, <laughs> let's try angry just for fun. All right, again, doesn't necessarily look like me, uh, but uh, maybe this is for fun. Uh, or maybe you just have a great photo. Maybe you want to use for a headshot and you're not looking, uh, you're not smiling, whatever it may be. Uh, then we have an age slider here. So uh, you can kind of make yourself look a little younger or a little older. So let's see here. I'm going to start by making myself a little younger. I'm actually going to reset the style so I'm not uh, kind of stacking too many different filters. So I'm going to see what it looks like to look a little younger. Uh, don't think that really did much. Just change my facial expression here. Uh, let's go ahead and make myself look a little older. So that 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 actually still kind of looks like me, where uh, when I drag it to uh, the younger side, uh, doesn't necessarily look like me. I mean, maybe a little bit. So 
Uh, and then it looks like there's some other things coming, hairstyle, uh, skin, nose, makeup, resize, all those different things. So uh, what could you use this for? Uh, I'd say right now it's, it's, I mean, it's, I guess kind of fun to play around with, but maybe if, if you have a great professional photo or a family photo as an example, and uh, someone's not looking at the camera, I actually think this thing right here is, is pretty helpful. So uh, if someone's not looking at the camera and you want to, you know, you can kind of drag it right there and to fix that. Uh, you know, that's one thing. I, I guess this uh, anonymize, which originally wasn't working, uh, but it looks like it might be working now. So weird. I think uh, it works better when you first do this look at bird and then you go down to anonymize. Okay, yeah. So this can kind of uh, change. Yeah, it just makes you look like someone else, more or less. Kind of like you, but slightly different. So yeah, if you do need to, uh, you know, I guess submit your face for something and maybe you don't want your actual self out there, uh, you could do this. So uh, kind of a, an interesting app uh, here with Hey Photo. Uh, you know, there's there's maybe some use cases. Uh, I think more than anything else, this just might be one of those uh, things to kind of play with, to have some fun. But I do think there's one or two kind of decent use cases uh, that you could even use, you know, for a professional headshot. Uh, if you want to kind of brush up your appearance a little bit, um, you know, if if you're not looking at the camera, if you maybe aren't smiling. So a couple, couple small things. I don't see a ton here, but uh, still interesting to see, you know, different AI apps and kind of where they're, where they're headed. So uh, as a reminder, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the daily newsletter, and we'll see you again for another AI in five. Thanks.